It's mid to late October, depending on when you're seeing this. And this is a dirk start for Hunter's Cloak. I'm in my man cave getting ready to go out on hunt. But I wanted to show you some strategies about using the products from Hunter Cloak this time of year. Um, many people think, okay, I'm set, I've got my liquid deer pee and I'm good to go on it. Uh, I want you to think about it this way. First of all, when you use the Rut Rouser by Hunter's Cloak, um, it's a vaporized system, which means you're going to use less scent, which means less money out of your pocket, but using it strategically um, by either using the burst mode or intermittently on it. And what's great about that is that with the Rut Rouser or the Gen 2 system, you're always putting out the freshest scent. So it's not like buying a $16 to $18 bottle of deer urine, pouring it on the ground, and, and now every minute that goes by, that scent is getting older and older. With this system, you're always putting out the freshest scent, so when a buck comes in the area, they're realizing, hey, something was just here or is still here. And so that's a great thing to be using. Um, when I go out in the woods, what I like to do is actually take both systems with First of all, I'm going to use the Gen 2 actually up in my stand next to me this time of year. And I'm either putting a, the earth scent in it um, or a pine scent depending on where I'm, I'm sitting. Usually I'm in an oak tree where I have some pine stands, but I use that as a cover scent on it. I don't put the, um, the attractants up in my tree stand with me because I want them on the ground. I don't want the deer looking up in the stand at me. So then I put the rut rouser actually on the ground. And earlier in the year, I was using um, the um, buck lure in it with either a vanilla and or acorn. Actually, early October, the, the bucks were going crazy on the acorn, so I was using the acorn scent in it. But using that combination, as you move into first part of November, um, definitely load yourself up with the doe and estrus as well as the buck urine on it. Run that on the ground up to 160 feet away from your stand. What I like to do is actually put it, um, if the wind is uh, blowing in my face, I want it to put it out ahead of me so that that scent actually goes through me um, and covers me up and confuses the deer even a little bit more on it. Um, so I can take advantage of deer coming from behind me as well as in front of me on it. But put it on the ground, um, you know, find your range that you're at, 20 yards, 30 yards, and use this as your range marker on it. But put those two scents on the ground and what I like to do is I'll start out uh, with intervals on it just to get some scent in the air. And then I'll actually turn it off. And as I get closer and the evening gets calmer and quieter, I'll actually put it on burst mode and just hit the burst every now and then when I hear something coming. And that way I'm actually conserving scent on it. Again, saving money, but using the freshest scent as possible on it. So just a couple quick tips. Um, from using the Hunter's Colks products. Um, again, the Rut Rouser, then Gen 2 on it, and then obviously you've got a whole line of different attractants and lures to use. But remember, Rut Rouser on the ground, Gen 2 up in your tree stand, and you'll have a lot of success. Till next time, see more of Hunter's Colk at hunterscolk.com.